You've probably noticed a theme this earnings season. Companies are blaming the strong dollar for dismal quarterlies. In fact, a recent FactSet report noted that currency was the most popular topic discussed this earnings season by S&P 500 companies. This week's Market Monitor has some smart ways to protect your portfolio from currency upheaval. Last time he was on, in January, his picks were National Grid. It's off 7%. J.P. Morgan, which is up 22%. And the biggest of all, Google, which has jumped 29%. Jamie Cox joins us now. He's managing partner at Harris Financial Group. Mr. Cox, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you, Tyler. You know, nice yeah, to be with you. We, we just mentioned that uh, so many of the earnings reports, and particularly the revenue reports, reference currency headwinds. Uh, and that is why revenues, uh, one reason why revenues for a lot of companies seem to have come up short. Is that your view, or are they just using this as a fig leaf? Well, I think it's true. I think if you look at constant currency, most of the revenue picture looks a lot better for most companies. So I, I don't think that's I don't think that's an egregious statement this particular quarter because the dollar did spike going into both the first and second quarter. So I think companies have a legitimate non-weather related reason to you know, complain about their earnings. This Do you think season. the dollar will likely strengthen from here or roughly stay where it's been for the past few months between about 105 to the euro and 110? I don't see that it goes up much further than this. I mm -hmm. think we're all anticipating interest rate rises coming in the in the either, either the third or the fourth quarter, and I think markets have already priced that in. So I don't unless the Fed raises rates faster than what we think, I think the dollar is where it's going to be for some time. Nice to see somebody from down in my home state of Virginia. All right, let's <laughs> let's talk about a couple of your picks and why you think they are rather more insulated uh, from uh, from currency headwinds. Let's start with Rockwell Automation, a stock that has been uh, moving below uh, its moving average in, in recent days. I guess you see this as a buying opportunity. Why? I do. Rockwell has been undergoing a, a major transformation in its, in its systems over the last three years. And finally, we're starting to see them uh, divest businesses that are low margin, like their seat business and some of their car interiors. And they're actually in introducing businesses like their stop-start batteries. So in Europe, we've been using start-stop batteries for quite some time. Hybrid and electric vehicles use those batteries. And we think that stop-start batteries will actually be part mm -hmm. of the general population of cars. Management is giddy about that. Let, and I think it's going to be a major uh, headwind. Let me move us quickly then to, your, to a second yeah. pick. It's a little out of order, and that is Johnson Controls, which has a kind of similar story about automobile interiors and the like. Th that's true. In, in, in addition, I think that both Rockwell and... Um, and uh, um, in this particular company, you, what you have is an opportunity for integration of systems. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they were early pioneers in the Internet of Things revolution, where they took offline systems and integrated them to bring the data online for management to use. Now these companies are actually downselling security solutions for companies. And I think that's where they're going to make right. a lot of money. It's being under underutilized, under talked about. All right. Final quarter. one, uh, quickly, precision cast parts. What do they do and why do you like them? Uh, the airplanes. I mean, mm -hmm. think about the number of airplanes sold. Cast parts is absolutely the, the place to be if you're thinking the airplanes are going to be sold in, in around the globe. You know, you've you've seen enormous numbers of airplanes bought. Precision cast parts is a place you want to be if you believe that story. All right, Jamie. Thank you very much, Jamie Cox with Harris Financial Group.